Welcome back. This is Kevin Tokoff on Catalyst University. In this video, we're going to discuss beta oxidation of fatty acids that have one double bond. In the next video, we'll go to two double bonds. And this video will assume that you already have a basic understanding of normal beta oxidation of saturated fatty acids. That is, those fatty acids that do not have any double bonds. Now, in general, there are two primary unsaturated monounsaturated fatty acids to be specific that have one double bond that we would run across. The first one is called oleoyl coa or in its non-conjugated uh, form it's just oleate or oleic acid. Uh, this particular unsaturated fatty acid has 18 carbons and one double bond at the 9 position. The other of these monounsaturated fatty acids is palmitoleic acid having 16 carbons and also a double bond at the 9 position. In its conjugated form it is called palmitoleoyl coa and it is not shown here. Um, that is because in general for oleoyl coa the beta oxidation of that works the same way. All right. So initially when we do oleoyl coa beta oxidation we have three rounds of normal beta oxidation with the four enzymes that uh, I assume that you're aware of. That is fatty acyl coa dehydrogenase, enoyl coa hydratase, um, beta-hydroxyacyl-CoA dehydrogenase, and thiolase. Okay? And you can see these blue lines right here that are cutting off two carbon units. We have three rounds of that. That's going to give us this fatty acid right here. Now, there are two problems with this arrangement of the double bond. One, the obvious case, is that it's a cis double bond. The beta-oxidation enzymes can only work on a trans double bond. Um, because that would normally be the product of the first beta oxidation enzyme. And not only does it have to be a trans double bond in the metabolism, it also has to be a 2-3 double bond, a 2-3 trans double bond. This one is actually a 3-4. Let's count carbons. This is number 1, 2, and then 3 and 4. It has to be a 2-3 trans double bond. So we have an auxiliary enzyme here referred to as enoyl-CoA isomerase. This will convert this 3-4 cis double bond into a 2-3 trans double bond. And this looks like the product of, well, if a fatty acid, normal saturated fatty acid, reacted with the first beta oxidation enzyme, we would get this trans double bond. This is an enoyl coa and this can actually react through normal beta oxidations for the remainder of its metabolism. Okay. So really when we, when we perform beta oxidation on monounsaturated fatty acids, meaning fatty acids that have only one double bond, we only need one auxiliary enzyme, and that's because of the cis double bond at the incorrect position, and that enzyme is enoyl-CoA isomerase. If we start doing beta oxidation on any unsaturated fatty acids that have more than one double bond, in general the limit we usually deal with is two, um, Beta oxidation becomes a lot more complicated. We still will have this enzyme, but we will have a second auxiliary enzyme that we will actually see in the following video. So hopefully this made sense. This is sort of the mechanics of beta oxidation for monounsaturated fatty acids. In the next video, we will discuss beta oxidation of linoleoyl CoA, which is a diunsaturated fatty acid that has two double bonds. Join us in that video. Thank you for watching this. Make sure to like and subscribe.